Hey guys, my name is Evan from the YouTube channel Cartoon Block and today I'm going to show you guys how I draw Ty Moss as Iron Man. Let's get started. If you guys want the latest news about iPhones, apps, and gadgets, then you should definitely subscribe to Ty's channel. So check him out and tell him Cartoon Block sent you. Now let's start drawing. Today I'll be drawing with my Prismacolor Cool Erase Blue Pencil. I like drawing with this pencil simply because it makes the drawings look a little bit more interesting. So I'm first coming up with different gesture drawings which are quick little doodles of what kind of pose I want to draw Ty in. I know I want Ty in some kind of heroic pose and these quick little thumbnails give me a rough idea. Once I come up with something I can then move to the finished drawing. So now I'm going to my red pencil. And with this one, I'm going to start sketching out Ty's face. We start with an oval. You probably can't see it that well because I'm sketching very, very lightly. Now I'm going to put the eye line in and lightly sketch in his ears. And then roughly put his eyes in there. I've used a lot of reference and watched a lot of Ty's videos to get a good understanding of how he looks. And then once I like the light sketch that I did, I can move in and start darkening in his features, such as his eyebrows here, his eyes, and just really putting in the fine detail. So I haven't quite seen him in this expression before. It's kind of like a super heroic, you know, um, pleasant but stern look but I kind of like tweaked his expressions a little bit so it can match his superhero pose. Lightly sketching in some shadows and then moving down to his nose, lightly putting that in until I'm happy with it, then I can go ahead and give it shadow. You should never start drawing in full features of anything. Always start with loosely sketching it out until it's something that you like. Once you like it, you don't have to erase all the old lines, but you can keep a few of them in there. It makes the drawing seem more alive and more organic when you can leave some of the sketchy lines in there. Different artists have different styles. So with here I'm trying to make sure that I get Ty's likeness in the drawing, all the features that make Ty look like Ty. Things like he always has his baseball cap sticking straight up, usually, and he has a pleasant smirk on his face. So I took the facial drawing and shrunk it down and printed it out on a piece of paper so I can now focus on his body. I'm going to start using ovals and light shapes to lightly sketch in his shoulders, biceps, and his torso, chest area, using generic shapes just to get the light construction of his posing and his body down. For his fingers, it looked like fat sausages right here. And I even had to use my own photograph of myself as reference on how the hand is. If you ever come across any kind of trouble with drawing the human body or the figure, take a picture of yourself. That's the best reference or the best model you can ever use. Now once I have the basic shape of his hand in there, I can then go ahead and start darkening certain parts that I'm sure of. Um, I'm drawing him as Iron Man, so as you all know, Iron Man has a lot of joints and, and corners and edges on his armor. So once I get that down, I can focus on the details of the figure and it's just a matter of putting the details around the basic shape. Now I'm going to move over to his shoulder area, putting in his shoulder pads and certain joints and servos that are on his armor. His arm, luckily I don't have to draw too much of his arm because it's sticking straight at us and the hand is in the way. Now time for his RT tech or repulsor tech rather in the arc reactor and his ab areas, putting in some few details here. Just want to make 
Ty look like Iron Man. And Iron Man has different costumes, so I looked at a lot of different drawings to get the right details that give us it gives us the impression that this is Iron Man. I'm gonna put this cannon on his shoulder because personally I'm a fan of War Machine more than Iron Man. But I always think he looks cool having some kind of um, weapon on his shoulder or cannon on his shoulder. I'm going to redraw this hand. And if you don't like something, you know, simply erase it. That's why I always draw very light before I start darkening my lines. And I think it's pretty cool to go ahead and put in an Apple logo. Since we all know that Ty is an Apple fanatic. He loves his Apple products, as do I myself. <laughs> I love my MacBook Pro and my iPhone. And I want to make sure that I darken in the lines that I am positive, that I'm definitely sure that I want in the drawing. So I'm going to use my mechanical pencil here to just darken in certain lines there, put in some shadow rendering, add a few more details on his arm. And I don't know how Iron Man's armor looks by memorization. I just pull a lot of reference offline. Hence the power of Google Images. And some rendering down here is for shading and shining on his armor. This is the cool part. I always like adding this stuff. It really makes your drawings pop off the page. It's not just a flat image, but it makes it look really cool. Now it's time to erase a lot of my old construction lines and finalize the lines that I'm really sure about. I'm going to give Ty his favorite type of camera, Canon. And that's it for the pencil drawing. Then I go ahead and scan the drawing in. And I gave it to my buddy John Calmet, who gave us this beautiful painting of Ty as Iron Man. If you'd like to see more of my drawing tutorials, click one of these links or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.